click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Eid al Zahra is a deeply significant day in the Shia Islamic calendar, celebrated on the 9th of Rabi'ul Awwal. This day is often referred to as a day of joy for the followers of the Ahlul Bayt. But what makes this day so special? Let's explore the historical and spiritual reasons behind the celebration. To understand the importance of Eid al Zahra, we must revisit the painful events that followed the martyrdom of Imam Hussein at Karbala. The period after Karbala was one of immense suffering for the family of the Prophet Muhammad. Lady Zainab, Imam Zainul Abideen, and the women and children of the Ahlul Bayt were taken as captives and paraded from Karbala to Kufa and then to Damascus, where they were held in the court of Yazid ibn Mu'awiyah. The Shia community believes that the 9th of Rabi'ul Awwal marks the day when the head of Umar ibn Sa'd, the commander of Yazid's army at Karbala, was brought to Imam Zain al Abidin as retribution for his role in the massacre. This day symbolizes the end of the family's mourning period and the beginning of a new chapter of hope and justice. Ida Zahra is named after Lady Fatma Zahra the beloved daughter of the Prophet Muhammad. For Shia Muslims, this day represents the fulfillment of divine justice, the vindication of the Ahlul Bayt, and a time to celebrate the ultimate triumph of truth over falsehood. The 9th of Rabi'ul Awwal also marks the beginning of the Imamat of Imam Mahdi, the 12th and current Imam of Shia Islam. According to Shia belief, Imam Mahdi is an occultation and is destined to return to establish justice and avenge the wrongs committed against the Ahlul Bayt, especially those that befell his ancestors at Karbala. This connection is why Eid Zahra is celebrated with such reverence and joy as it is seen as a day of renewal and hope, anticipating the eventual return of Imam Mahdi to fulfill his divine mission. Today, Eid al Zahra is celebrated with great enthusiasm in Shia communities around the world. The day is marked by prayers, recitations, and gatherings where the stories of Karbala and the triumph of the Ahlul Bayt are recounted. It's a day of festivity where sweets are distributed and the faithful express their joy in the victory of truth and justice. In many places, Special gatherings called Jashun are held, where poets and speakers narrate the history and significance of this day, reminding the community of the enduring legacy of Lady Fatma Zahra, the Ahlul Bayt, and the importance of Imam Mahdi's Imamat. Eid Zahra is more than just a day of celebration. It's a reminder of the resilience, faith, and justice that the Ahlul Bayt stood for. As Shia Muslims gather to mark this day, they not only celebrate past victories, but also reaffirm their commitment to the values of truth, justice, and loyalty to the family of Prophet Muhammad, with the hope and anticipation of Imam Mahdi's return. <laughs>